I was two months shy of 22 when I started flying with Emirates. And when I joined Emirates, I never knew how much my life would change since then. Because of Emirates, I started to see the world, I met new people, I became closer with family who were too far from where I used to live. I gained new friends, and more than that, I gained priceless lessons on life, on business, on friendship, on relationship, and so many more. In hindsight, I am never the same again because of flying. Now, my mind is more open to the different cultures, to the different opinions of people, to the different beliefs, and to the different traditions of different nationalities. And because of that, I am never the same again, and I will always be grateful. August 14, 2008, I joined Emirates, and on October 21, 2020, my journey ended. My name is Mabel, and this is my flying story. Don't worry, this is not a sad story. I'd like to think of it as a transition to a new song. And as I begin this new song in my life, I'd like to bring you with me. In this episode, I will be sharing to you a couple of things. Number one, motherhood and our decision to stop flying. Number two, why go back to the Philippines? Number three, our preparations for departure. Number four, when stars aligned for us. Number five, are we going back to Dubai? Number six, my realization during this transition. And number seven, our plans moving forward. Let's get started. I was 24 years old when I got married, and my husband on that was 27 then. And during that time, we were still starting our career, we were starting to build our life together. Part of our dream and our prayer was also to start a family in the near future. Noah arrived into our lives on March 2019. Both of us were already ready, and we knew that we wanted to give our lives to him to really concentrate on his development and his growth since for the past years we have already enjoyed our company together. When I gave birth, I knew I really just wanted to be with Noah with a thought process that I know that he's not going to be a child forever. So I really wanted to be with him as he achieved those milestones and accomplished those milestones. And a big part of my decision for not quitting immediately was Step's advice. He knew that I loved flying and he didn't really want me to regret once I leave. So he was always telling me, as soon as you feel that you're ready, you're mentally and emotionally ready, then that's the time you resign. We were really blessed that during this decision-making process, my mother-in-law was there to help me and Ontep look after Noah. So it has been a big relief knowing that every time I fly, my mother-in-law was there to look after Noah also. And then the pandemic came and I had more time to spend with Noah. And it just resonated to me more and more how I really wanted to be with him as he grows up. When I had flights during those times, I would reflect when I'm in the jump seat and I would ask myself, am I ready? And interestingly, I was. That was 12 years of flying experience and I knew I was ready to leave it to be with Noah. So that led to the decision of us quitting. So that was around April or May of 2020. And after careful considerations, we decided that once everything is sorted, we will be leaving Dubai on November of 2020. And the reason why we wanted to go back to the Philippines was, as you all know, I'm a country girl, M and my sister is also a country girl, and one of my best memories are my childhood memories, and that is running in the field with trees and birds, and also with family close by. I had very close relationships with my grandparents, and we also wanted Noah to experience that, to be with his grandparents, to be with his cousins, to be with nature, to be able to run around. And where I'm from, which is Bukit Non, I will always love this place. And if there's one place that I would love my son to grow up, that would be in Bukit Non. So that is the reason why we decided to go home. After we came up with a decision of leaving, the first people that we told were our family. 
and our closest friends. My parents were very happy and my friends were also very supportive. They felt and they believed that we were making the right choice for the family. And my friends, they helped me create a checklist as to what to do, what to send, what to sell. Their help really gave me a blueprint as to what to do so that we get to live Dubai properly. I'm a firm believer and so as my friends that in all things that we do, whether be it about relationship or about businesses or any other transactions, you must start things right and because it has a higher chance of ending right. And when you are given the opportunity to end things, might as well also choose to end it right. I wanted to end our time in Dubai the right way. So that was the reason why I really wanted to have enough time to send our items, to sell some of the items we didn't need or items that we couldn't bring, barter items also that might be of use to other people and that things that other people might love and also get some items that we'll be able to use and at the same time send to the Philippines and really just to have enough time to close everything such as the documents in our apartment, um, electricity, internet, postpaid and everything, even bank accounts. So I really wanted to make sure that everything was done properly and my friends and my family were there to support us. By the way, during this transition, you might be asking as to what's happening with the MM during these times. She will also be sharing her story to you. As for me and Tep, we were planning to resign because we wanted to go home in November. The reason behind was our apartment was due on November and our rent was already paid. So we really just wanted to utilize it and you know take that time to close everything before we leave. The sending, the selling and the bartering began on April. And as we were nearing November, that was a time when we were concentrating on our documents, closing bank accounts, closing our credit cards, closing our postpaid lines, our internet, our water, and electricity. Come August, pretty much everything was already in place. And in my mind, I was about to submit my resignation letter on the first week of September. That way I'd have a month's notice and then another month for me to do all the final preps and the final checklist. Also that month, which was August, I was due for my contract renewal with Emirates. For those of you who are not familiar as to how the employment with Emirates works, actually every three years your contract is renewed by Emirates. Usually that gets automatically renewed and during the pandemic what happened was because there were too much excess of crew, apart from letting go of employees, they also resorted to decisions wherein those who were due for contract renewal were not renewed anymore. So there were hundreds of crew whose contract was not renewed. So that August, I was due for contract renewal. So part of me was praying that hopefully my contract would not be renewed because if I resigned, then my one month's notice would still require me to fly. And for me, I have already made up my mind that I didn't want to fly anymore. Part of me prayed that my contract not be renewed instead of me resigning because me resigning would still require me to fly. My last flights really exposed me to a lot of COVID cases and I will not go into the details, but pretty much there was a time wherein I had to self-quarantine for 14 days. So stories like that. So I didn't really want to fly anymore. If my contract was not renewed, then that means I would still be paid. I would still hit my timeline, but then I need not fly anymore. So I celebrated my 12th flying anniversary on August 14 and five days later, which was August 19, I, together with hundreds of crew, got an email that my contract was not going to be renewed anymore. The feeling that I felt when I got the email was a feeling of relief because as my friend would later then say, the event fit my puzzle and it is what I prayed for that eventually things started to fall in the right place and the stars aligned for me because again as I said I didn't want to fly anymore I was still employed up until October 21 of 2020 but the moment I got that email I was not required to fly anymore so August 14 which I did a video on that that was actually my last flight part of me was happy knowing that my contract was not renewed and I was still getting paid I was still an employee up until October 21 I would still get to enjoy the benefits I really had 
a more clear mind knowing that I would just be at home. I would be able to concentrate on the things that I needed to concentrate so that I could close everything properly before we departed Dubai for good. A month later, which was September, Tep, who is an accountant in Dubai, submitted his resignation letter and his last day of service, I believe, was on the second week of November. So everything fell into place for the both of us. Our last month in Dubai was really busy. It was running here and there, closing this and closing that. It was really hectic. November 17, we did a video on that also. We left Dubai and we traveled to the Philippines. So we're here. And that is the reason why it took me some time to really film this video because I really wanted Noah to settle down and of course with all our stuff, we also wanted to unpack properly and really just settle down and I wanted my mind to be clear of everything before I share this personal story to you. Now, are we going back to Dubai? Yes, of course. Dubai will always be our second home. That is where I met Tep. That's where Noah was born. Of course, we're gonna go back, but not in the near future. I just really want to settle down. Plus, with the travel restrictions, I don't think we can go back there anytime soon. Tep's family, his sister, his mom, his brother are still in Dubai, so we are definitely gonna go and visit them every once in a while. And also, some of our closest friends are in Dubai, so we're definitely gonna go visit Dubai. Not as a resident, but as a tourist, and we would love to go back because as I said, Dubai is very close to our hearts and we would love to go back. For now, we will be staying in the Philippines. We will let Noah enjoy the family around, the fresh air, the fresh food, the fresh fruits, everything and what have you. We will just let Noah enjoy. In hindsight, my realizations and maybe the lessons that I learned during this whole process, for one, I will forever be grateful of MM, my sister, because during the whole transition, she, we were Batman and Robin. I think she was Batman and I was Robin. <laughs> Antep was still busy working, so it was MM and I who were really planning as to what to sell, what to send, what to ship. So my realization is, I am very grateful for one, to have a support system which is MM. Number two, it really pays if you position and you plan ahead. Our decision of leaving Dubai might have happened on March, but the whole preparation was way before that. We knew that we were going to leave Dubai sooner or later. That while we were enjoying on the side, we were also preparing our departure. And by that, I mean taking into consideration financial obligations, your financial reserves also. So it was easier for us to decide because we knew somehow we were ready. And also to add, it really helped that we created a timeline as to what were the things that we needed to do, we needed to close, we needed to accomplish before we leave on this particular date. It really helped as per my friend's advice to really reverse engineer. If I wanted to close my bank account, I have to count 60 days prior. So it paid so much having a calendar, having a planner, plotting what I needed to accomplish at a specific date so I will be on track with my tasks. And also a realization is my belief, and I mentioned it earlier also, that I'm a firm believer of starting things right and ending things right. And I am happy that as we left Dubai, we really did our best and we really tried to do everything to end things right. And with that, I mean closing all the necessary documents, bringing all the necessary documents, closing our bank accounts, making sure that we all had the clearances, we all had the no liability letters. And this is to ensure that as we continue the next chapter of our lives, that chapter previously was properly closed. So I think in all aspects, in your relationships, in the businesses, in the work that you do, it's good always to begin things right because it has a high probability of ending right. And if you are given the opportunity, as not everyone are, given the opportunity to close a chapter in your life, it's good to choose to close it the right way. Once you look back, you will only think of the good memories because you know that there are no unsettled obligations or commitments that you left.
my plans moving forward, I am a firm believer that there is more than one door of opportunity. There are always a lot of doors. And as we decide to reinvent ourselves, one thing that we also need to remember is that, yes, you might have changed your career, but your experiences are with you. The skills that you learn are with you. The knowledge that you learn are with you. The wisdom that went with that experience are with you. So one must be bold in reinventing yourself. And I say that a lot because I mean it and I feel it and I believe that too. For now, my plans are really just to enjoy my time with the Philippines, to really just enjoy my time with Ontep, with Noah and their family, and of course, to just really enjoy Bukid Noah. I really miss this place. And also to start mobilizing the things that have been laid out even before I came home. So hopefully soon, I will be sharing to you the things that I am actually doing right now, and I'll be sharing that to you. And to end, I'll share to you something about what I read on Facebook about this crew. She was also a cabin crew and she was leaving Dubai and she has also clipped her wings and a sentence that she said there was the sky is not the limit and I believe so too I believe that for us and I will say this again life is full of limitless possibilities and we must continue to believe in ourselves for me maybe I might have ended flying but I believe that in other areas of my life there are also other ways for me to fly and I cannot wait to explore and discover those opportunities and hopefully you will be with me on this journey as I continue the next chapter of my life. So there you go, that's my story. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again next time.